welcome back to Gapy's Garden. I didn't get around to showing all of my peppers in the last pepper update video, so I thought I would go over them in a separate one. So these are the pepper in a can pepper challenges that I joined this year. Um, this is something that they've been doing every year in the pepper lovers community on Google+, which is now on Facebook, MeWe, and Reddit. Um, but I decided to do some dwarf peppers in a can. This one here is the Apache and I haven't harvested any, but it looks like there's a, a couple that are just starting to ripen up. Got one there, one there, and there's one here. So it kind of gets a little bit brown before it turns red. Um, I think they're supposed to be kind of hot, um, but I'll have to try those soon. And then next we've got the mini bell. I've harvested one of these already. Um, we have a few more. There's quite a few pods actually, one, two, three, four, five. Um, about six good sized pods on there that should be ripening up here pretty soon. Um, and then next we've got the Hot Pops Purple. And this one is in my Bad Granny can. These are all cider, hard cider cans that I chose um, because I'm not really a fan of beer, but I like hard ciders. Um, but this one is a, it's an ornamental. It gets these purple little round pods on it and then they eventually turn orange. Um, and I have tried one of these. They they're not really very hot, even though they're called Hot Pops Purple. Um, but they're, they're, I mean, it's an ornamental pepper, so they're not really expected to taste that good. And, eh, they, they're not great tasting, but they're okay. But it's more for the looks. So those are my peppers. Oop, that's not a very good place to put these. Um, that's where I've actually been keeping these in this container here so they don't fall over. Um, and that keeps them up pretty good. Let's get these down here. There we go. So they stay nice and tidy in there. And I've actually been, when it's really hot, I've been bringing them inside or putting them in the shade because they, they do dry out super fast in these little containers. I've been watering them pretty much every day. And I fertilize them about once a week. And then in the greenhouse, I've got some more peppers that I didn't show you last time that are in, these are some large, I think they're about five inch square containers. And these are ones that I started from cuttings off of some of my plant starts. And I thought they were white ties and they kind of look like white ties, but they're normally the white ties grow pointed upwards and these are pointing down. So I'm not really sure if that's what they are or not. Um, but anyway, I guess we'll we'll wait and see, but I think that might be what they are. And then we've got over here in one of the raised beds. This is a Peach Peter Reaper. So we believe this is a California Reaper crossed with a, uh, let's see, with a, with a Peter Pepper. And this actually, I started these from seed from a pod that I got from my neighbor and it puts out some really dark purple leaves and then the peppers are peach colored and they're kind of wrinkly. Um, I'll have to post up a picture so you can see what those look like. But this is, I think, the third year that I've actually been growing those. So I've got one there and one here. And I didn't plant these in the greenhouse because that's where I planted them the last two years and they didn't set pods till really, really late in the season. So I only got was able to harvest a few pods off of them. And my neighbor who doesn't have a greenhouse grew them and they seem to be a lot more productive for him. So I'm hoping planting them outside will help with that. So we've got those two. And then the only other peppers that I have in the garden are way back here. And I have these in a circle. Um, you can see it's pretty much a jungle in there. So there's only actually five peppers in that space. And these are the Ricotto, AKA Manzano peppers. And they like cooler weather, so that's why I'm growing them outside and not in the greenhouse. And this is my first time successfully growing these. I tried to grow them last year, but I couldn't get any of the seeds to germinate. So these are the one of the tougher peppers to grow because the seeds are black and just really hard and just take a long time to germinate. But we finally got some peppers starting to set here. And this one is the pineapple ricotto. We've got quite a few pods. 
starting to set on this guy. And they're very kind of round. They're supposed to be a really thick walled pepper. And I'm not sure if it's going to be hot or sweet, but they come in a variety of different colors and a variety of different heat levels. So we'll see how these do. Um, again, that's the pineapple ricotto, so I think that one's going to turn maybe yellow or orange eventually. And then next to that, we have the Ahi Lucento. And I can't remember what color this one is, but we've got a few pods set on that one as well. This is one of the bigger ones, but we've got lots of smaller ones over here. There's a nice size one there, and a few along that stem. And I do have cages around most of these. Um, I've got four on the outside, and then I've got one on the inside. So the one on the inside, I actually got the start from my neighbor, the same one that I got the Peach Peter Reaper um, pepper from. But this one, I'm not sure what it is. I think he picked it up at a, a market and saved the seeds from it, so we're not sure what variety it is. But I think he said it turns orange. But this is one that doesn't have any pods set yet, so the flowers just keep coming off. So hopefully it'll set some here pretty soon. And then going around the outside here, this one is the red ricotto, and it's just got a couple pods set. It looks a lot like the other ones. This is another round, kind of a longish pod. But I don't think there's very many set on on this plant. And then the last one is over here. So this one is a little bit shorter than all the other ones. And this one is the orange. It's the orange ricotto. Um, I can't find the tag. There it is. Yeah, so that's the orange ricotto that I got from Batman. Um, but it stayed really short for a long time, and now it's putting out a couple of, of longer stems here. But it's not really getting any flowers. It's just starting to get a few there on the very top, but nothing that setting pods yet. And I also noticed, let's see if I could find some, some of the leaves are getting munched on by something, so I'm finding some holes on some of the plant. Here's another, here's one that's got a lot of leaf damage. So I'm not sure what's eating those. I haven't found the, the culprit yet, but it might be some kind of a worm, but I'm not seeing any, any worms or any of the worm poops. So, I don't know. I'll keep looking and see if I can figure it out. Hopefully they stay away from the pepper pods. Alright, that's it for the peppers this year. Thanks for watching, and I'll probably do another pepper update next month. Thanks for watching.